What is good, y'all? Welcome back to the Blitz City Podcast. I'm your host, Kobe Yor, and check this out, bro. Looks like Quay Davis, a former Jackson State player, is he took a little shot at Jackson State. I'm on, you know, I'm I'm getting ready for homecoming because it is our homecoming in South Carolina State today. And you know, I get on social media and I see Yard Talk HBCU. Shout out to LaShonda. She posted a screenshot that she took of Quay Davis under the comments of Jackson State's post about their new uniforms, um, into which he said it's gonna be a long day. Listen. I told you in my in my keys to the game video for Texas Southern, Quay Davis is coming. Like whether he does great or not, we don't know. We gonna we gonna find out in a few hours. But Quay Davis wants this, and I I told you that if you've ever played on two teams that eventually have will play each other, you felt that too. Whether you left your previous school on good terms or not, when you see your old team, you want to go off. Now I'm not saying Quay Davis has beef. With Jackson State, because I do not know. But this is the second back. In, this is the second time that he said something out of the way as it pertains to Jackson State on social media. The first time was right before the season, um, and now it's this. Now that it's here, so clearly there's something. Usually, you would be like, "What? Like, why does this even? What does this even matter? Coach Prime isn't here anymore." But see, TC was his position coach. And I'm not saying he has anything towards TC either, because again, I don't know. But this being the second time that he said something regarding it being a long day, I mean, hey, listen, clearly, clearly that man is coming in with a, I'm not going to say a, a vengeance. He's coming in with the vengeance, basically. He wants to show y'all. He wants to show y'all up. And you have to expect that. Now, Quay Davis, as far as his production on the season, um, I'm going through my notes here. Quay Davis should have about 25 receptions on the year for 281 yards and I think two touchdowns, if I'm not mistaken. But he averages 11 yards a carry. I mean, 11 yards a catch. So not the most productive season so far, but this is his first year as a freshman, as I said before. But that doesn't mean that this man is not coming with a different energy because he's back in the vet. Like, this man went live last night, and I got that notification on my phone. And, you know, he, he labeled it back in the vet. You know, like, he is excited for this game. Quay Davis is on one for this game. So, y'all better be ready. But, yeah, just to correct myself, 25 receptions, 281 yards, and one touchdown. Averages 11.2 yards a catch. Whoever y'all put on him. He gonna try to have a big day, and I I'm not, I wouldn't be shocked if Texas Southern, aside from Ladarius Owens, is gonna look to try to get Quay Davis going. Kind of kind of like Maynard, you know. Every time he sees Jackson State, he gotta give Quincy Casey some playing time. You know, like he you know like he he tried to get Quincy Casey involved because he's a former player. I feel like the same thing is gonna be done here with Quay Davis, man. I mean, he was a former four star prospect. He probably felt like he should have been on the field earlier than what he was, but we know the depth was crazy at Jackson State, and this is a kid who is gifted physically. So. We will see what happens today. Like I said, I'm going to be in Orangeburg for the game, but somebody please keep me updated on how this game turns out for Quay Davis as well as Texas Southern. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm intrigued now. He sold it. He has sold it. And he did a great job doing so. He has sold it. All right, so let me know what you think about this down below in the comment section. I imagine some of y'all are going to be a little upset, but I'm going to tell y'all now on my platform, um... I have much respect for Quay Davis. Y'all know I don't use this platform to to uh, talk down on any student athlete. So please keep it respectful in the comment section. Do not do not be disrespectful. Don't speak ill of this kid. Like none of that. I I don't want no disrespect in the comment section. But you can give your opinion on whether you like it or dislike it. Just you know what I'm saying. Just don't go overboard. Uh, but. With that being said, man, y'all are watching the Blitz City Podcast. I'm your host, Kobe Orr. And, of course, we're going to see each other soon because we want to talk about this game no matter how it turns out. Uh, yeah, y'all be safe.